hotel. Passenger side, sway bar and like totally broken off at the bottom, completely apart basically. Um, gonna go at the top first, 17 millimeter. See if it'll spin off. Probably won't because it's so rusty, but we'll give it a shot. And if it doesn't, then we'll uh, try to get a hold of it from behind there. And uh, I'm not even going to bother to try to get it, from, you know, get it hexing that because it's so rusty. Forget it. <laughs> no, it's spinning. So I don't know if there's flats behind this. I don't think so, but that, we don't care. I'm just going to grab a pair of vice grips because I don't have to put it back on there. I don't really care if it's damaged. The bottom's going to be harder, probably, because yeah, the nut that you have to unscrew faces in. It's just going to be harder to get at it. I'm just going to try to grab this with a pair of vice grips and get in behind it and get enough grip on it that out of my finger. That's too loose. I'm going to hold it. That'll be enough, we'll see. Maybe it will or it won't. Let's see if we can back this off. The air tools help a lot with this. Ah! Of course. Not it. I never understand that. Why they don't put flats on every single one of these is beyond me. You just put a wrench on it and I'm done. Back in, that's good. Back it out again. In again. In and out. Almost, almost. There you go. Hey, that was the easy one. That was the easy one. You see it's completely, the, the joint's completely apart at the bottom. Hard one's going to be the one at the bottom. Because the nut faces in. I can't get a gun on it. There's no way. So what am I going to do? I'm probably going to get cut it off. You can see right there. That's the joint. But the nut is on the other side. Got to get that apart. Uh, uh, I can push this up somewhat, but this is going to be really, really difficult to get at. So what am I probably going to do? I'm probably going to take a sawzall and cut that off. It's probably what I'm going to do. But I got to cut it right close because um, that shoulder is bigger than the hole. And the hole's about that big. And as you can see how big the shoulder is, based, that's the nut, but there's a shoulder on the other side about the same size. Uh, so, I've got to do that. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, but we'll figure it out. Now you can see the very end of the, uh, the actual joint there, on the end of the stabilizer bar, the sway bar. And what I did was pry that arm up enough to get a block of wood under it. I'm going to come in from the other side, and I'm going to try to cut that off with a sawzall. Because there's no way to really get a hold of that well. And I'm not even going to try. I'm just going to, I think I can sneak a sawzall in from the other side of that. And just cut it off, and that's that's what I'm going to try to do. We'll see how it goes. All right, carbide tip blade. Uh, it's a Diablo blade, which I'm using. Lennox makes them as well. There's a couple other companies that make them. Uh, if you use a regular and buy metal blade, you'll be here all day. You gotta be careful you don't cut into the arm. I'm kind of coming right down parallel to that arm, just kind of slicing this off. And it's going well. I'm marking it up a little bit, but not really cutting into it, which is what I want. Just keep checking it to make sure I'm not damaging it. I 
almost there. Close, just open it up a little bit. Parts are hard. Yep. Pretty stinking hard. That's pretty much it for that. I mean, it's, I gotta work out. I'm still gonna have to do some work here with a grinder, probably, to take a little bit off because I didn't want to damage the arm. It's, it's pretty good, actually. Let me get a punch. I have to go in there with a cutoff wheel, a little grinder, and grind the edge of that. Be able to just punch it out of there, punch it out of that arm, through the arm. Not most of it, but not all of it. There we go. That's what it looks like. Now I gotta go back and just clean that up, kind of shave that off. I don't think I can just punch that through. I think there's still too much metal there. I can try it. It might fold it up, but I think I'm just going to take a cutoff wheel and go in there and just grind that down a little bit, make it flush. So the only thing that is through there is what's going through the hole. There's nothing to hold, and that should be just knock it through there. Let me get my cutoff wheel and do that. I am wearing ear protection and eye protection for this. I do like my eyes. Now, I'm already deaf, but I don't need to be deaf or deaf possible if that's even a word. Now, can I get this in here? I don't know. I'm going to find out. It's not going to be easy, I can tell you that. I'm going to have to pull this out. Pull it out there. Come on. here and you can kind of see it's shiny right here that's the hole for the bottom so I'm going to start that one first get that in through try to get the top through try to get them both through just push the bottom one out add it push the bottom one out it's a lot easier to move the top I'll just angle a little bit If not started up here, I, you know, I didn't even look at these, and these don't have flats either. Oh, I hate that. And we'll see if we can, with the air tool, hopefully I'll be able to zip these on. Otherwise, I'm going to have to use the hex in the end of it. I don't like that. I really don't. I'll make these with, oh, I should have flats. So I'm going to push the bottom in, get that started, get the nut on it. I'm going to try to zip the top one in, whether it'll go in. I don't know, if it doesn't, then I'm going to have to uh, use the hex head to do it. And of course it's not 17. That would be too easy. That's probably 19. Let's see. Ooh, I got top. I got most of the top. Alright, I got the top. Alright, so... 
got my little block of wood to hold and give me a little bit of clearance. So far, I'm able to turn this in. It's got enough tension on it um, going through the arm that I, it's not turning it as I turn the bolt in or the nut in. So if it stays that way, I'll be good. I can get a ratcheting wrench in there. Oh yeah, I can. I don't think it's turning either. No, it's not turning the, it's not turning the bolt. Oh yeah, that's the beauty there. Oh, I just trapped myself. I trapped my, trapped my, trapped my ratchet. I trapped my ratcheting wrench. I think I can pick this up enough. Hold on. Get it out. Oh, boy, if not, I'm, I'm screwed. Oh, yeah. Just enough, boy. I almost trapped that. Not too bad, but fortunately, I could turn that nylon nut on there without spinning the, the stud off the end of the joint. So, it went right in. That's pretty much it. Obviously, I have to put uh, brakes and everything back on. You don't have to take the brakes off to do this. I'm just doing the brakes. So, you could leave all this stuff on here. It makes it easier to see for filming. Um, but that's pretty much it. That's a pain, I can tell you. Not, not going to have fun with that one, but it wasn't too bad. I've had a lot worse, so uh, needed to be done. It was definitely completely broken, so now it's good.